Hi there, I'm Edwin Palmer. Welcome to my series on LGBTQ plus related topics. Homophobic rape is a worldwide problem which deserves much more attention than it's getting. So in this video, I want to ask these four questions. What is homophobic rape? Why is it a problem? What causes it? And most importantly, how can we banish it? Let's get to it. 1. What is homophobic rape? Homophobic rape is a hate crime in which one or more people are raped because of their perceived sexual orientation or gender identity. The common intended consequence of the rape as seen by the perpetrator is to turn the person heterosexual or to enforce conformity with gender stereotypes. Homophobic rape is the use of rape against people who don't conform to perceived social norms regarding human sexuality or gender roles. The goal is to punish perceived abnormal behavior and reinforce societal norms. The crime was first identified in South Africa, where it's sometimes supervised by members of the woman's family or local community. As I said before, the goal is to cure them of their sexual orientation. In one of the few cases to attract press attention, in 2008, Yudi Similani, a lesbian, was gang raped and stabbed to death. Her naked body was dumped in a stream in the Kwathima township outside Johannesburg. A soccer player training to be a referee for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, she was targeted because of her sexual orientation. In 2011, the 24-year-old Nagzala Nagwaza was raped and stabbed multiple times with glass shards. Her skull was shattered. Her eyes were reportedly gouged from their sockets. Ms. Nagwaza had been seen earlier that evening in a bar with a female friend. If you're in Western Europe, the USA, Canada, New Zealand, or Australia, you might think, okay, South Africa is far away, I'm sure things are a lot better where I am. Are they though? Just take America for example. A 2015 survey by the US National Center for Transgender Equality found that nearly half of the respondents were sexually assaulted at some point in their lifetime and one in ten was sexually assaulted in the past year. Overall, people who identify as LGBTQ plus are at greater risk of sexual violence, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. 44% of American lesbians and 61% of bisexual women experience rape, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner compared with 35% of heterosexual women. 37% of American bisexual men experience rape, physical violence, and or stalking by an intimate partner compared with 29% of heterosexual men. 40% of American gay men and 47% of bisexual men have experienced sexual violence other than rape compared to 21% of heterosexual men. In addition to South Africa and the USA, homophobic rape has been reported in countries across the world, including Ecuador, Haiti, India, Jamaica, Kenya, Kyrgyzstan, the Netherlands, Nigeria, Peru, Thailand, Uganda, Ukraine, the United Kingdom, and Zimbabwe. 2. Why is this a problem? The answer to that question is a no-brainer. Homophobic rape and other accompanying acts of violence can result in physical and psychological trauma, mutilation, 
unwanted pregnancy and may contribute to suicide. Homophobic rape is a major contributor to HIV infection in South African lesbians. In South Africa, about 10% of lesbians are HIV positive, with homophobic rape being the most likely cause. Due to homophobic laws and discrimination in South Africa, the victims don't get the health care they need. Furthermore, the psychological effects of homophobic rape on victims can be detrimental. Many victims in countries such as South Africa and India, where homophobic rape is most prevalent, suffer from a strong sense of insecurity and disempowerment due to strong homophobia in their communities. This homophobia can lead to both physical and psychological violence. Lesbian survivors of homophobic rape suffer from triple discrimination for being a female, black, and homosexual. Finally, homophobic rape victims may suffer from depression, anxiety, and or post-traumatic stress disorder, and there is no one there to help them. 3. What causes homophobic rape? Firstly, homophobia and heteronormativity cause this hate crime, as it's based on sexuality and not on age, class, gender, race, etc. Authorities often don't recognize that. A 2000 study suggested that an atmosphere supportive of hate crimes against gay men and lesbians the lack of reactions to hate crimes by the broader community and the lack of responses by police and justice systems contribute to homophobic rape. Secondly, some people believe homophobic rape can fix people who don't conform to gender norms or who aren't heterosexual. ActionAid reports that survivors remember being told that they were being taught a lesson some perpetrators of this hate crime are impelled by a sense of misogyny and chauvinism. Finally, despite the fact that the scientific community knows that your sexual orientation is determined before you're born, many people don't believe that forms of non-heterosexuality has a genetic basis. Instead, they believe it's only the environment which determines your sexuality. Because of this, some of these people believe sexual orientation can be changed, or, as they see it, fixed. 4. How can we banish homophobic rape? These gross violations of human rights need to stop, and here are a few suggestions on how to do it. First of all, Homophobia and heteronormativity need to end. We can make it end by informing the public about who LGBTQ plus people are. The more the public knows about us, the better. That can allow them to let go of the fear and wrong assumptions they have of us. That can make them understand that homophobic rape won't turn lesbians and gays straight. That can make them see that non-heterosexuality has a genetic base and has nothing to do with the environment we grow up in. Secondly, authorities need to recognize that this is a problem and support the victims. Police officers must be sensitized about these matters. Lawmakers should criminalize these hate crimes and abolish homophobic laws and systemized discrimination. Politicians need to publicly condemn homophobic rape and lead a critical shift against rape and homophobia. Last but definitely not least, heterosexual family members must stop supporting these hate crimes. Heterosexual family members must only show their LGBTQ plus family members love. If they show their LGBTQ plus family members love and support, they will have taken the first important step toward banishing homophobic rape. This information came from these websites. You'll find these links below this video.
Next Friday, I'll be back with a new episode in my series on cognitive abilities. Till then, I only want to say three things. Thank you for watching, have a great day, and bye y'all!